What's the deal, YouTube? It's your boy Sadlack coming through with another quick video for today. Today, I'm going to be giving you guys a quick review on this Agave Spike Seltzer Cacti by Travis Scott. So make sure you guys rate, comment if you're new. Hit that subscribe button for your boy and make sure you dab on them. I'm so late to this review, but I bought these on the first day they came out and they've just been sitting in my fridge for like months now. So we got the three pack Agave Spike Seltzer right here by Travis Scott. Man, you already know the deal. Travis Scott been making moves with McDonald's, freaking seltzer drinks. Like he's going crazy, man. We got the pineapple, the lime, and the strawberry flavors right here. We're gonna go ahead and bust them open and see what they hidden for. We got the lime flavor for the first one, man. This thing is looking like one gram of sugar, including one gram of added sugar. So we got two grams of sugar, we got three grams of carbs, and we got 20 milligrams of sodium. 150 calorie drink, man. Let's go ahead and see what these hidden for. Smells like lime, man. Like a whole lot of lime going on in this thing. Wow. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty thirsty, so this thing is tasting actually pretty good. It tastes like lime and it tastes like seltzer. These things are supposed to be made with 100% blue agave. I'm not sure what that is, but I know they put agave in tequila, so it's supposed to be like a sugar-free thing, I'm thinking. The cacti is made with 100% premium blue agave, found in Mexico, as well with natural flavors. I would have to say the lime is really easy going. I like this one. It ain't too much, it ain't too less. I'm pretty thirsty right now, so that's probably why I'm really liking this. If I had to rate the lime flavor on a scale from zero out of 10, personally, I'm gonna give the lime flavor about eight out of 10 right now. I'm just feeling it, man. The lime, it got me hooked. So we're gonna put lime flavor got me lit. I'm feeling it. Let's go to the next flavor. We got that <clears throat> pineapple joint on deck. Pineapple is my shit, man. Pineapples and mangoes, you can't go wrong with those two. So the pineapple one, it just gotta be busting. This has gotta be the best one automatically. Let's see what the deal is. Hooey! It's smelling like one of them. Damn! Y'all ever tried those sour belts? It's a candy called like Sour Belt. That's what this shit smell like. Damn, this shit smells so fire. It smells like pineapple as well, but it's just smelling like, ah, uh, I love the smell of this. Yeah. Yeah, the taste of this is pretty, uh, It's there, but it's like, uh, I don't know. It's kind of weird tasting and I love pineapple. So this is, this is kind of exciting, it's kind of scary. It's like in the middle, man. I must say, I must say, I don't know, bro, but this is hidden. This is hidden for me, I love this. It's seltzer, I'm not a seltzer type of dude. You feel me, I ain't the seltzer type of guy. So this video might not be for y'all type shit, but this shit right here is cool. If you like seltzer, I think this right here is gonna be the best one, low key. This right here might be the best one, man. These things are like 16 ounces a piece. Oh no, they're 12 ounces. That's still too much for me. So let's get to the next flavor, yeah? Woo wee! The next flavor is actually gonna be the strawberry joint. We got that strawberry flavor on deck. Everything is gonna be the same. They all have about two grams of sugar. They all have about 15 milligrams of sodium. And they are all 150 calories. So let's bust them open. This one almost smells like Welch's strawberry soda. Eh, I'm not too much of a fan of this one. This one is all right, but it could have been more spicy. It could have been more strawberry smelling. The taste is all right, but it almost tastes like cough medicine or some shit, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know about the strawberry joint. Yeah, man, I don't know. We might have to take a pass on this. Mmm. I just remembered, I didn't even give y'all a rating on the pineapple. If I rated the, the damn lime one a eight out of 10, the pineapple gotta be a nine out of 10, dog. Like, sheesh, dog. And this one right here? This one ain't bad, cause you're a beer drinker already, so if you're not in it too much for the flavors, cause these all don't have that much flavor at all, 
then you're in it for like the beer taste and the beer activity and the do-rag activity and you're in it for what the beer is about to do to you so you probably like the taste of the beer i think a lot of beer drinkers might like this one because it tastes like strawberry it gives you hints of strawberry it smells like strawberry but it's like it's not it's not it you know it's, it's not real strawberry so if this was a little bit more real strawberry then this right here would be the shit but it's not so we're gonna have to give it like a, <laughs> golly we're gonna have to give that bad boy like a we're gonna have to give him an 8 out of 10 as well god damn man that's it man maybe 8.5 out of 10 for the strawberry strawberry probably get 8.5 out of 10 we're gonna put that one in the lead over the line Pineapple is on top. I just love pineapples. That's just what it is. And I don't know. This pineapple one is actually pretty good. Like, it's it's giving me that vibe. I'm loving the pineapple one for some reason. 9 out of 10. That's the biggest hit out of this, this case right here. But the lime one was bomb too. I get that an 8 out of 10. And the strawberry going to be 8.5 out of 10. Because it's a little bit bomber than the lime. But like, it's a little bit bomber. So, it's a little bit bomber. And it is what it is, bro. It's all going to be 7%. 7% alcohol in all of these things, man. So they gonna get you pretty lit, you know what I'm saying? I believe Stella is like 7% too. I think Stella is 7%. If it's not, somebody correct me. IPAs are probably like the most heaviest hidden things in the world. I don't know. I don't know the strongest beer. I'm not a beer drinker. Who the fuck don't know about do-rag activity? You know, we're kicking it with the Scots again. If I had to rate all of them on the scale from zero out of 10, I'm gonna have to give this shit like a solid Nine. Ugh, that's pretty spicy. I'm gonna have to give it like a solid 8.9 out of 10. That's what I'm gonna give Cacti on a scale from 0 out of 10. It's like, man, the sneaker community, the beer community, the food community, the music community. If you're hating on Travis Scott, then you just hate life at this point. Like, fuck it, bruh. 9 out of 10, this shit is banging. It's up there. People are liking it. People are loving it. I've seen people hate this shit in the beginning. When I first tried it, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't really like it, but it is what it is. Now that I'm drinking it, I don't know why. I'm really feeling the vibe with it. I don't know if it's because I just ate or what, but it actually tastes good. So think about eating before you drink this shit, and you'll probably have a better perspective on it. Anyways, man, if y'all made it to the end of this video, I appreciate y'all for watching. Make sure you guys are coming. If you're new, hit that subscribe button for your boy, and I'll see you in the next one. Sheesh.